Semiconductor stocks are on the rebound, and our next guest says there's one name in the group that's poised to be the leader of the pack. So let's get right to Shana Sizzle, CIO of Spotlight Asset Group. She's taking them out with a fast pitch. Welcome to the show, Shana. You are pitching Marvell Technology. So tell us, why do you like that name and why do you like it here? Well, for the past three years, Marvell has, through strategic acquisitions and smart business planning, radically shifted their business model away from their legacy business, focusing more on end-to-end -end technology solutions for cloud data centers and 5G infrastructure. The stock has underperformed its overall semiconductor peers uh, over the last year. They had an earnings miss in the fourth quarter uh, that caused the stock to continue to underperform. However, their latest earnings report, which was last quarter, included some positive signs from a recent acquisition they did with Infi. And what they saw was revenue growth in every key business segment. They had their fifth consecutive quarter of uh, revenue growth with 5G infrastructure. And they're predicting up to 70% year over year improvement in their network revenue as a result of the acquisition, which was not included in previous guidance. So there's a number of things that are attractive about the stock, not the least of which is it's trading at a discount to peers, something like NVIDIA, uh, but it has a better balance sheet, less leverage and much higher earnings growth, approximately 30% five year earnings growth as to, uh, uh, um, outlook right now. So all of those things, I think, make the stock really attractive at these levels. Guy, you have any questions? Yeah, I do. Here my quick question, I, I, I'm going to like this just so you know ahead of time, but my question is, do you think, I mean, they've been acquisitive. Is this a name that could be acquired in the, in the environment that we find ourselves in? I know you don't buy stocks for that reason, but a lot of things are in play right now. I don't think so. They have been a major acquirer, and they just completed a, a rather large acquisition, a $10 billion acquisition that closed in April. I think what they've shown is that they're willing to be an acquirer to be able to provide that end-to-end -end solution in that cloud space to be able to keep, compete with Broadcom. They also just redomiciled the company from Bermuda to Delaware, which now makes them uh, able to compete for a federal U.S. agency contract, which they were not able to do before. So that was an advantage to Broadcom, which Broadcom no longer has. So it's really just them and Broadcom in this cloud data center space. And they are a market share gainer. And Broadcom really is a market share loser at this point because they are the dominant player. Well, Shannon knows this name well. No more time for questions. It is, though, time to vote. So are you buying Shana's fast pitch on Marvell Technology? Dan, you get to start. Yeah, I'm going to say yes, but I'm going to kind of put a little caveat here. Uh -huh. I've been buying that on a pullback. This stock is up. Come on, guy. It's up 30% yes, in a it straight is. line over a couple months here. She makes a great fundamental case. She makes a great comparative valuation case. And there's, like, a, a secular shift going on. What did, what did Oracle just say? They're going to be doubling their CapEx for uh, cloud spending. So... She's right, but Dan, on a pullback. Dan's talking directly to Guy, so Guy, you're up next. I'll talk oh, to Dan. The IPHI <laughs> deal is a creative. It's a great mm -hmm. pull, and I think $65 is level it's going. I think Steve or Jeffries just put that price target, and I'll tell you, in this environment, to buy that growth, the $60 billion deal for somebody to come in, I don't put that out of the realm of possibility, Dan, Nathan. I like it. Mm -hmm. Tim, do you have a board? Do you have a piece of paper? Or what do you say? Of course I do, I, I, all the time. I'm always ready on this. Guy's going to like this. So, so the Mets had a player at one point named Marvell Wynn. Yes. Um, and while he was a terrible ball player, this is absolutely a Marvell win for Shauna. So I, I love the story. I think the network upgrade, uh, the cycle for upgrades, uh, Facebook and Microsoft are about to kick off massive upgrades. I think there's a lot here for them in the upgrade cycle and the bookings backlog. Okay, Karen, what do you say? Well, I, it was a great pitch, Shauna. However, I got a pass. This is the semiconductor index in the clouds. So it's really a question of I think the space is just has room to pull back, but a really excellent pitch. And I learned some things. So thank you. I like the illustration as well, Karen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.